US student group Tea Time and Sex Chats posted this cartoon showing how to use a female condom to its Facebook page last August. But it appears the powers that be at the social network didn't approve and after an initial warning went on to close down the group's Facebook page, even though the offending video had been removed. Web users are outraged by the censorship. Twitter users just can't understand the move. They think it's unfair and say the video was educational and not pornographic. But Facebook doesn't agree and has said the site was deleted due to pornography and nudity. But as the site Jezebel notes, the video could understandably be viewed to be in violation of the platform's community guidelines as they are influenced by the community. So if someone reports the video for being offensive, then Facebook has to take action. So one fraction of the Facebook community disproportionately holds the power in deciding what gets censored, even if it's harmless and doesn't violate Facebook's terms of use. This is exactly what happened to German artist Peter Carden back in July. He had posted photos of statues taken in the Louvre Museum, and much to his surprise, the photos were removed because they showed naked bodies. He highlighted the absurdity of it all, by reposting the same photos, blurring out the faces and genitals.